Hey guys, it's Dread Isle here, and we are uh, talking about Nova Prospect today. It's a shorter video today. I apologize for how long it took to even get this one out. It's busy over the past few weeks. I was putting together, finishing up my album. I was playing a show and getting ready for that. And now I'm back making more videos and I have some lined up. So I apologize. Let's just get into it and I'll shut up because I know the video is what you want. So we'll get into it. Nova Prospect is one of the most intense places and set pieces in Half-Life 2. Essentially, it's a converted high security prison. But as Alex puts it, it's something a lot worse now. Now it is a place where the Combine process people who were considered threats to the state, anti-citizens. This is where Eli Vance was taken when captured. Uh, while the prison is a power point for the Combine forces, it seems pretty run down. Some of the lower levels are flooded and in disarray. Head crabs and zombies seem to have gotten in. Nova Prospect was modeled to be similar to Alcatraz and was originally supposed to be a large depot-like structure. Uh, sort of like a shipping center or a place to build airships. You can even see the resemblance to the depot, as it was called in the beta, later on further in the prison system. So as we stated before, Nova Prospect was for processing anti-citizens. Well, what does processing mean? Essentially, there are two parts to Nova Prospect. The seemingly older, more run-down prison area and the more internal area with higher security and more technology. Inside this inner area is where the transhumanism would take place. Essentially, the Combine took the prisoners and would, through various means, transform them into Combine soldiers. If they were really, really, really bad, they would turn them into the hottest creatures in the game. Even hotter than Alex Vance. I know that's hard to believe. The Stalkers. <laughs> They're beautiful, okay? You're stalker shaming. Torture went on, as you can see in various rooms throughout the prison. It was a very dark, dark, uh, evil place and I didn't really take that in for some reason when I first played through the game. The prison was also home to the Combine's experimental local teleportation technology which was subsequently destroyed and was hailed as a signal for the uprising which began the week-long fighting in City 17. At some point Judith Mossman, our beloved trader, was stationed here since you obviously run into her. She helped them build their teleport since the Combine have no knowledge of teleporting locally inside this dimension. There are other interesting things about Nova Prospect such as, you know, some of the security defenses, the antlion thumpers that get to be activated, antlion storming Nova Prospect. Uh, other than that though, we don't know too, too, too much about Nova Prospect other than kind of what we discussed in this video. And if you have more, uh, to, you know, say about it, please comment below and let me and the other viewers know. And I will be getting some of these other videos out soon. I just had to get at least something out to you guys since it's been a few weeks. I apologize so much for that. Won't happen again. Love you guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And, uh, subscribe. <laughs> fuck off. Uh-huh.